Yo! Welcome back! NBA Vibes. We doing it large. In charge. We tapping in. To the WNBA. This year. It's going to be lit. Last year was fun. This year we're going to do it even more proper. You see it? More consistent videos, more content, more information, more value. I got you. Let's get right into it. Should have dropped this video much earlier. My bad, peoples. Famo, we'll get back into it. Let's do a real quick recap. Last night was blessed, super blessed. I'm gonna show you my process real quick. It's not gonna be a long video, right? Show you my value pace. I'm gonna show you real quick what I'm going through when it comes down to my personal process and how I come to making these cards for DraftKings, for DFS. I personally feel that WNBA um, is great to enter uh, as of right now. NBA season last year was tough. Uh, it's really hard to take down tournaments, I find, even with a good, even with a, a solid process, right? A uh, shout out to all the content creators out there that are, uh, you know, always plugged in, dropping consistent gems every day to help DFS players everywhere to, uh, you know, just optimize and maximize their opportunities. So uh, shout out to all you guys. You guys know who you are. You know what I mean? But this card did all right. This card did all right. Uh, Clarendon was a sneaky one for me, right? Value picks. We're talking about choosing who we think is not expensive from a salary caps perspective, right? I mean, still 8,600 for the salary cap, but you have to understand, she fully outperformed her price last night. I mean, she got a triple double. Shout outs to Claire and Don. All right. All right, since there's that, not much time left, I'm gonna give you a free card right quick. Just one of these ones that I made up last night. And just so some, just so we're on the same page here, always plug into the news, okay? I'm gonna show you guys what I do the last maybe 30 minutes right before, if I need to make any final adjustments based on news, injuries, lineup changes, projections, anything. You guys have to stay plugged in. We're gonna basically tailor our cards last minute to the news that drops. For me, this is what I'm doing usually, okay? These are the, the uh, you see up here, these are my tabs. These are basically what I go through. First off, we're gonna do a recap of last night's slate. Here we go, last night's slate. We got Dallas Wings defeating Chicago Sky, 87 to 79. Um, we also got Atlanta Dream and the Sparks, who also played last night, and more of a closer game, but it was 92 to 81. Really and truly, both not very much of a close game. Uh, Atlanta kind of took it to the Sparks here, as you can see, and Dallas Wings took it to Chicago. So let's move forward to today's um, slate, right? At Indiana Fever versus the New York Liberty, all right? Now, y'all know, y'all know, Caitlin Clark has been cooking when it comes down to her career, everything she's been doing for the WNBA and for women's sports as a whole. So shout outs to her. And her first game was kind of underwhelming. All right. Let's just put it lightly. She did not play that well. All right. Let's look at her uh, last game stats here real quick. Yeah, they got spanked. Yeah, Indiana lost. They got spanked by Connecticut, all right? Let's take a look at the box score real quick. We got Caitlin Clark. She logged 32 minutes, guys. Pretty good for her, uh, you know, rookie debut, right? Um, no problem with the minutes. Usage is there. Six out of six free throws, solid, right? Four out of 11, e. Four out of 11 three-pointers. Not very good, but hey, well, let's, let's chop it up to uh, the... Uh, First game, rookie season jitters, okay? Let's just put it that way. She is an amazing 
immense talent. She's going to do amazing things for the whole league and for women's sports as a whole. I'm super excited to follow her career and to see what's next. Unfortunately, they lost. Not a good way to start your, uh, you know, your uh, career in the WNBA, but it doesn't matter what's happening on a day-to-day. -day. Caitlin Clark is going to be, and if not already, is the WNBA GOAT. Y'all watch and see. Follow closely. Tap in. Subscribe. Turn on the notifications because I will be following Caitlin Clark and her career very closely this season. Let's get back right into the game that's going on today. New York Liberty versus Indiana Fever. Yeah. So, this is my process. I'm always checking, always checking expected lineups, right? Always check the lineups. These things do move last minute. I remember yesterday, you can't go back yesterday, unfortunately, but yesterday there was a last minute lineup change for one of the teams, all right? So that lineup that I made for the DraftKings did not do very well, but hindsight, it's the right process, right? You got to stay plugged in. You got to know who's starting and who is injured, right? So over here, this is what we're looking at. X Bueller, Caitlin Clark, Kay Samuelson, Nylisa Smith, and Aaliyah Boston, all right? And over on the New York Liberty side, expected lineup. Sabrina Iniscu, we got Courtney Vandersloot, Lainey Hamilton, Jonquel Jones, Brianna Stewart, all right? This is going to be a fun game to watch, guys. Tap in, all right? Let's get it. So always check the first thing and the last thing. Always check who is starting, guys, okay? Take that advice to the heart. It always helps me, all right? Next up, we're going to check news, all right? Let's refresh the page, see what's going on, all right? Again, try to check these news, the news outlet, whatever you decide to choose for news outlet. I also use Twitter, right? Twitter's a great source, or AKA X. I, mean, I fucking hate saying X, all right? But anyways, you know what I'm talking about, right? Use the sources that are credible, tap in, and make sure you guys are always paying attention to the news. Things change last minute, just like NBA season, WNBA is no different, all right? Next, we're gonna look at projections. Okay, this is important, guys. If there is anything you pay attention to in my rants and my podcast sweats and bets, this is one of the important things. Minutes is crucial. You want to be putting in players that are projected to be getting a lot of minutes. And minutes don't equate to starting all the time. Sometimes some players will start, but there's some bench players that will get run. And if they get enough run, their usage is good enough to be viable as a value pick. So that's what we're going to be looking for, right? So minutes, important. Always check, right? And I always correlate minutes and I always bounce back over here to the lineups, right? Lineups, okay, let's see. Example, we're going to look at New York. Hamilton, Laney Hamilton. Let's go check that out, right? Laney Hamilton projections down here is up here. Look at that. 31 minutes projected. Not bad. That's like top five for highest projected almost. Let's check it out. Oh, no. Let's check it out. Maybe uh, she's like top 10 minutes. Still decent, right? So let's look at her value when it comes down to relating her minutes that she is projected to get according to Rotowire, right? And let's go, let's go peep this right quick. Right. And let's see what type of value we're gonna open up one of these cards and that's one of the cards I'm gonna show you guys. Let's show this one. I'm gonna, free, I'm gonna give you guys a free card right there. All right, let's see what's what's going on here. So let's take a look at the minutes for Hamilton and the price. Price for utility would be seven thousand six hundred. Okay, so let's let's correlate this for a second. My value pick on this card is K Burke. All right, and when we look at the minutes for Burke, not many minutes. She is definitely a risky play. To be honest with you, I have other cards and the value pick on the other cards, I'm gonna give you guys a gem, is for me, Lexi Hall for tonight, okay? Um, again, I'm not too sure exactly what's happening. We'll all plug in, make sure the news drops and we take a look at the news and we see what the changes are last minute here. But as of right now, my my Lexi Hall 
and Burke. Um, yeah. And Wheeler. But Wheeler and Samuelson are, are priced up, I would say. So we can take a look at that here, what I mean by priced up, right? Like Wheeler's all the way up here, 6,800, right? Samuelson, I like Samuelson for tonight, to be honest with you. But again, I'm just gonna show you guys one of my cards. I don't have that much time, so we're gonna wrap this up, all right? Um, Samuelson, good value pick, I would say for sure. And another value pick I would say is Leone Fiebich. I'm not too sure if I even said that name. Not on the injury report, but we're gonna move forward. So my value picks for today, guys, right, is going to be Burke, like I just showed you, could be Lexi Hall, right? Giving you guys gems, could be Leona, right? But at the end of the day, getting that one contrarian piece, I think is the best way to build cards. Most of the time, eating the chalk makes sense, especially for WNBA. Um, and getting different in one spot or two spots, I would, I, would, I would advise is the smartest thing to do here, all right? So, with that being said, I hope you guys got some value, right? Just a quick recap. Always tap in. You got your starting lineups. Always pay attention to the starting lineups, guys. NBA News, check the sources you use that are credible, that you trust, like on X, Twitter, right? I'm using Rotowire. Right, shout out to all the other players out there. Right, we got Stochastics. Big shout out to Stochastics. Always plug it into their content. They're great. Go follow them. Right, um, there's other guys out there, other uh, other content creators out there. I'm not gonna mention right now, but they're there. So shout out to you. Um, and yeah, just moving forward. Look at the minutes. So this is kind of the process I go. We can always look for tomorrow. Same thing. We can look ahead, and I do the same thing. Go to the filter. Make sure I'm filtering for most minutes. And this is how I'm gonna base my value picks on what I believe one of the players are underpriced for the minutes that they're projected to be getting. And that's my process, pretty simple. We, you know, we got blessed, we, we got blessed up past two days, right? With the same process, same process, right? And you know, you know, I'm not. I'm just trying to show you guys my process so we can win together, essentially, right? I don't care about splitting this, that, and the third, man. Let's all eat together. I understand the more people have the same cards, gets duped, we get less money. But you know what? Fuck it, right? Fuck it. Let's all eat. Enough money out there, right? So look, just to show you guys, I'm not here to brag. Just to show you, my process has done me decent right i don't win all the time like i said nba season was tough was very tough but i'm feeling good i'm feeling good about the WNBA, right another point of advice please 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 last thing y'all remember bankroll management super important can't stress that enough all right so stay tapped in nba vibes let's get it let's eat i'm signing out Wait, 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 hold on. I'm feeling generous today. Hold on, hold on. Let me give you another card. Let me give you guys another card. Time out. Before y'all leave, before y'all leave, let me give you another card, okay? We got Kay Samuelson in the captain spot, right? Like I said, value. Ooh, value. I like this one. We got B. Stewart, Brianna Stewart. Utility, we got Sabrina Inescu. Utility, we got Caitlin Clark. Utility, we got B, Laney Hamilton. Utility, and finally, we got Vandersloot. All right? Yo, now I'm signing out. NBA vibes. Good luck, y'all. Enjoy those sweats and bets. Thank you for tapping in. I'm out. I'm a fun guy. Um, obviously, I love the game of basketball. Uh, <laughs> <laughs>